This coffee setup fits into a backpack, can be set up in the middle of nowhere, makes the best coffee you've ever had while out for a ride, and contains its own mess when it's time to pack it all up. Now, doesn't that sound like exactly what your life is missing? I love coffee. Not in that cliche way of not being able to function in the morning without my first cup of coffee, but in the way that I actually love the process of coffee. It can be an art like cooking or as therapeutic as working on your motorbike. You see, I often go in search of new places to take photos of my bike because it's a way to get a ride in, do something I enjoy and get away from the world. And often, I just grab a coffee and stare at my bike while I'm out. However, that does mean there has to be a cafe nearby, which means millions of people. And that does ruin it sometimes. So I've been looking for a way to make coffee even if I'm in the middle of nowhere and it's just me and my bike. And I think I finally found the perfect setup for that. And although I'm not much of a motorcycle camper, I do think this setup could also be perfect for someone interested in both good coffee and in motorcycle camping. At the heart of it is this, the AeroPress Go. You've probably heard of the AeroPress before and this is just the travel version. So it's slightly smaller and comes with a mug, which also conveniently houses the rest of the contraption. Inside you'll find the AeroPress itself, a coffee scoop, a folding stirrer, a filter paper holder and enough filter papers for 350 cups of coffee. So enough for a good three days or so. The other thing you'll need if you're familiar with making coffee is boiling water. So for that, I got a little gas cylinder and a tiny stove that screws onto the top of it and unfolds for my canteen to rest on. Unsurprisingly, this is the most camping equipment I've ever owned, but I am already feeling at one with nature. But to see if it actually works, I think we need to go test it out. Okay, I should admit that I'm literally six minutes from my house and not actually as far away as that montage suggested. But I didn't really need to go that far to find a suitable place to test this out. Plus, if this fails miserably, I don't want to be too far away from a cafe. I even managed to squeeze the AeroPress and all the pieces of my stove into my camera backpack, of which about 80% is designated to camera gear along with some matches to make fire, water to be boiled in my fast Bagaros performance bottle, and I even bought along a manual coffee grinder and some beans, because that's part of the fun. But if you'd rather grind your beans at home before you leave, it will mean one less item to pack. However, your coffee won't be as fresh. There are plenty of different methods to brew with the AeroPress. However, I'm going to use the method suggested by the inventor of this contraption, simply because it's easy to do out in the middle of nowhere, like when you're camping, rather than when you're in a well-furnished kitchen. First, we need to get our water going, since it's probably going to take a bit of time. It's as easy as screwing the stove onto the gas cylinder and turning the knob to get the gas flowing, which can be ignited. Then, with the water in the canteen and on the flame, we can set up the AeroPress. Pull the plunger out of the chamber so we can get it ready to brew. Then, you need to remove the filter cap, insert a fresh filter paper and twist it back onto the chamber. I then stared at my bike a bit while grinding some coffee relatively fine and then added a rounded scoop into the chamber which isn't a very accurate measurement, but works for our relaxed environment. And hopefully one of these days your water will be boiling. With the coffee leveled off, 
you can add your water that's cooled off just a bit from boiling point. Third degree burns are an optional extra, followed by 10 seconds of stirring. Finally, insert the plunger and press it down until all your liquid gold has migrated into the mug. Your options are then to drink it as is, to add some more hot water to turn it into an Americano style coffee, or to add some milk to turn it into a sort of latte, whatever suits you. However, if you do need milk or sugar or something extra, it is something else that you have to bring along. But after a fun brewing method, you're left with great tasting coffee that you can sip while enjoying your surroundings, or more importantly, your bike's ass. I mean, nice lines. I also really like this setup as opposed to a mocha pot or something similar because it simplifies the cleanup process. You could just put the AeroPress back into the mug and put its lid on for the mess to be dealt with when you get back home. And for the most part, it will contain the mess and won't drip coffee on everything else. Or it's also super easy and probably better to remove the filter cap, press down the plunger to pop out the coffee puck and give it a quick rinse. So just because you don't have an adventure bike or a tent doesn't mean you can't still experience and enjoy certain aspects of motorcycle camping. Of course, it does take a while to boil water with the mini stove and canteen, but this isn't a cafe where you want your coffee in a rush. There are probably smaller setups, but few that taste this good or are this convenient. And it only makes enough coffee for two people, maybe three at a stretch, but the whole point was to get away from the crowds anyway. So ultimately, I really do believe that this is the best travel coffee setup for bikers, and I'm keen to take it to some strange places in the future. However, if you are a more experienced motorcycle camper than I am, which I find hard to believe since I now own a camping stove, let me know how you brew your coffee, and I'll see you on the next ride.